Okay, good day. My name is Master Manager and Jan News and today I'm here again with my brother David Kansa. Okay. And uh, today my brother is coming to tell us in a spirit. You know, this is our brother, he's stayed in Nigeria before. And uh, he's also a driver. He will not hear from you. You will hear from him as he's coming to tell us his own experience about Nigeria. And, and, and at the same time too, it's not well working. Now it's in Ghana and since it's not working no more, it's not work. Not working. You know, we Nigerians we say work and why Ghanaian work. You understand? Between two things. Anyone you like, choose it. But uh, you know hear from me. You give us you know experience about Nigerians in Nigeria. In experience about Nigerians in Ghana, then we we'll move. You're welcome. Thank you. I want you to tell us uh, how you started travel from Ghana to Nigeria and... Well, due to my nature of work, yeah. that is transporting of goods from one place to the other, that is trailer service. So one friend introduced me to uh, a logistics company that is in yeah. Nigeria. But they had one man, one Nigerian man here in Ghana. And we were, we were supposed to transport palm oil mm. right? yeah. to the place in Nigeria. Well, since you know, I took it that I would do the work, so mm. I went into it. We were transporting oil from one place to, to Nigeria. Mm. Then one day, that we got there, a place called um, Apapa. I don't know if whether you are coming to with that place. Ah, I I looked into the driving mirror and I saw somebody by the trailer side. Ah, what was this guy doing? Not knowing the guy has opened the tank you see the cover at the top you are soaking mm. and they were uh, bringing out the palm oil huh, i was really shocked so i stopped the car instantly and then i, I thought the people would run away mm. when i stopped the car I, I saw more people coming i said no i have to rather Step on the accelerator and then move the car forward. Otherwise, I don't know what they will do to me, right? So I rather step on, gas the car, and then pass. We were throwing things at me. From my car? Yes! A papa. That's Lagos in, before you get to Lagos, inside there. Ah. So when I got to my destination, they saw what happened. They, the the way the car was did themselves so that they no, did it. Yeah, did themselves so that no no robbers attacked me. So from that experience that I had that day I feared doing that job again. So I told I told the man that no since the way things were going over here I can't stay here and do this job no. But before then one one of our colleagues, he and the they got shot on the road. In where? The kidnappers attacked them uh, on the road from Lagos, going mm. getting to Lagos. And they killed the meat. Ah. My friend said uh, he they asked him where, where he was from. And he said he's a Ghanaian, he's a Ghanaian. He said, you are from Ghana. Mm. Oh. Then they left him. Because how are they going to take ransom from somebody they don't know? I mean, Nigerians are treating Ghanaian bad like that. Where you are Ghanaian? Ah, Nigerians, when they see a Ghana car coming, they say, yeah, these people. They will treat you bad like? They will not, do not give you good treatment like how they, they, they are, they are, they are Nigeria they do to them, no. 
Mais le gagnant qui a des six jours, il y a des gagnants de camp. Il y a des gagnants de flot. C'est le thème. Si tu bêtes les gens, tu es mort. Si tu dis 5 000, tu es supposé te donner ça. Tu dois payer. Pour que tu aies ton piste de main et puis tu vas aller. Sinon, tu ne prends pas ton voiture juste comme ça. Ils vont te faire quelque chose sur ton voiture. Une fois, ma voiture a été sportée. Nous venons de Lagos, Abuja. Un village. Je ne sais pas le nom de ce village. Un village. Ma voiture a été sportée là. Et... Heureusement, Certain more over there to add uh, this track so the battery will be able to, you know, spark my company. We went there to beg this man mm -hmm. okay, to give us a battery to that. We just parked the car. He was just near us. We just parked the car and then we carry on. You know how much the man collected that early morning? How much? Thousand naira. Just like that? Yes. Yes, for sparking the car for us. Why? Because you are Ghanaian. Yes, because he saw a Ghanaian number on the car, so he is Ghanaian. He has to milk us. But one thing I said, I noticed about them is, you know, when they ask you for something and you don't give them, then they formulate another plan, go around and then come back for that same thing they ask for. They ask for you again. Yes. One thing I studied them in, and I saw that they were very violent. They don't get what they want from you. They were very violent towards you. Until I noticed the violence. I don't know what you've done to them. Like you're a foreigner, and you go to them. Like they just want to use some. They want. They just want to find some means. Way. Get. Something for me. That is what I see. That's how they do in the the country. Yes, that is what I see. But some are good. You can't say they are all bad. Some are very good nature. Especially one. Uh, what's the name? One who, our escort. He, he took us from Lagos to Abuja. Oh, forgotten the name. Oh, you have to go on our mm -hmm. room and give me the name. He's very, very good nature. You see, he, he, he has that compassion for his fellow man. He was very good to us. One time, those guys that stand by the roadside, they, they will be demanding money from you, saying, if you don't give them money, they will destroy your car. Why? Yeah. Because the road that I, the government constructed, they destroyed their father's mm. property. So, <laughs> they will take money from, <laughs> they will take money from you to compensate uh, their father's struggle, you see. <coughs> Serious. They will take money from you, you the driver, they will take money from you to compensate uh, for their Others lost. Hmm. Meaning, if you don't pay the amount they ask you, either your windscreen, your driving mirror, your rear mirror, hmm. you destroy it. Anything at all that comes into them, they will do it to you and then leave. See? But there is that thing going on over here when they come. You don't do them anything. You don't do them anything. I came back from that place empty handed. It was what I saw that was going on over there. I couldn't stand it. Mm. It's like I was shocked. I, 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 how can a fellow human being do that to his own brother? Huh? Transporting goods from one side to the other. You just climb the car, a moving vehicle, you climb. Yeah. Well, I wasn't moving at a tall speed. Mm. It was just a normal. You know, the road was very bad, so you have to slow down. Then, so by slowing down, that means they get the opportunity to climb the car and then do whatever they mm. want. 
Seriously. Now, oh. upon seeing that I was very short, I said, no, this place, I don't think it's for me. I have to move out. <laughs> Seriously. Now, I say, like you and I, like you now, and since there you are not, you come back to Ghana. Yeah. Because uh, the life there is not easy for you. From what I saw, the experience that, you know, I can't just see everything, but I don't remember, I will not remember what the experience. But the, uh, the experience of that place is not really good for you. It's not uh, good. I have not experienced that in this country before. But right now, you are in Ghana. Yes. What is your profession now? No, I'm a trailer driver. So a tipper driver. Heavy, a heavy duty truck driver. What do you say? If you get a job, somebody buy a tipper for you. You can drive it. We, we transport goods from hmm? one country to the other. As we are doing the long distance you know, transport. So who wants to employ you in Ghana? Well, anything I tell you give to me, I can do it. Okay. Now that you are in Ghana now, the Nigerians in Ghana, the Nigerian people that are living in Ghana, what kind of attitude do you experience from people or towards Nigerians in Ghana? See, our brothers are enjoying over here. They are enjoying Ghana? Yeah. But we don't do anything to them. Just as me when we go there, the sort of treatment they will give to us. They don't get it from us. That bad treatment, harsh treatment, they don't get it from us. Yeah. When you go there, they will show, they know they show love. But when they come here, you people are showing them love. But it's like, what, when you go there, it's like, they, will, they want to get something from you. They won't get from you? Yes. They will want to get something from you. You, you must like, you must give them something. By hook or crook. Whichever means. This is it's not easy. Me, they don't welcome me with that because everything was money, money. Yes. Man. No that love. Point. He, whatever means he has, he has to get money from me, he has to get it. That is the point. That is what, what, what you experienced from that there. That is what, from my work, place of work, that was what I saw. That means Nigerians are not really show love to Ghanaians if you come for the life, the truth. In their country, they don't really show love to Ghanaians. They don't show it just like how we show it to them over here. In Ghana, yeah. Then they don't show Ghanaians love. Ask Nigerians over here how many have been more treated over here. We just ask our fellow brothers how many Nigerians have been more treated over here. And then go there and then see the kind of work or the nature, the, the sort of uh, things that they are putting our fellow, our fellow brothers to in there go, over there, what they are going to. Okay, you are mm -hmm. trying to tell me that a Ghanaian in Nigeria cannot they do any responsibility job, like quality job, oh, some, a... some, some they do quality jobs for them. Some, some, a percentage, like let's say about 10 percent. Where they do better job? I do correct jobs over there. Even you know, this damn boutiques. Mm. They were transporting smell from Ghana here to Nigeria. To Nigeria? Yes. Some time ago. And now it has. Like it's not going on like the first. Hmm. You know what the drivers were going through over there? Hmm. I was going to drive that car, but upon what I heard from them and the experiences, that was. Ay! They were killing the Ghanaian drivers. For what? Just because they are seeing. Uh, Ghanaians are trying to take over their job. That's what they're trying to say? Yes! Ghanaians are trying to take over their job? Yes. Okay. Now that uh, you decide to come back to come and stay for Ghana, now that you and I decide to come to Ghana, what do you want the audience to do for you? As a driver, you know, I still have to go back to my profession. So, Not to. go back to my profession, driving. Now what assisting now? What do you you talk to them? They listen to you. So what I want to say is, uh, you know, since 
I'm more experienced in driving and I have more links like this, uh, maybe if I get a car I will know the sort of job that I could do to you know, bring money so that the car owner himself will also benefit from it. From you? Yes. Okay. If the, how, pe how if they the people to want to call you? That's my contact. Yeah. Okay, I can give you... You call, the, call your number for them. I'm 0558 21 72 67 Repeat it again 0558 21 72 67 That is my line Okay And uh, that is the thing I know you all year And uh, this Aroda already be in Nigeria a long time ago and you know already what we normally discuss about it you know in Nigerians me I know normally Nigerians are not treating some Ghanaians well yes which is I know as well yeah because uh, this is a brother he need assist forget even though because even with money although I still they tell people how you people are helping some people, donating for them. I all know about that. Uh, this is Ghanaian, your brother. Stay in Nigeria before before he comes to Ghana. But right now it's in Ghana. Things is not really work for him because I see I went there and I see that things is not working for this man. Because I'm talking to you. Please. Even if you want CD with your brother, do something. And if you get car. You want to give to him if he get her or you want to do any business with him between your brother now because you don't want to go back to nigeria again it's in ghana here ghanaians always be ghanaians first time already you call your phone number for you and i'll still write it for the screen anything you know that you want to assist him you want to give to him even if he donate anything at all if you if you be the car if you have a company of car or Uber, have you? even if Uber, all those small small car, you get, you want to give him to ride and balance, you fine. Or what can be anything at all, because here yeah, this page is about uh, who lifted by, have you? Uh -huh. Rising and lifted by one another, have you? So anything at all that if it be young, you know, be avoid that if it be money, you want to assist. I think the the more uh, the your number is also Mumu, have you? okay anything at all because i know sometimes any way you can support because you don't know who be who maybe tomorrow you can become another person where you can also help your own children your own generation and please you, time no deal you will even hear your own experience about nigerians in ghana i hope you have any experience about nigeria in ghana but they are doing well yeah they are doing lot what do you think well. that uh, very well. You what are they doing? Where you Ghanaians not like? You know, one thing about them is their kind of roster life, their kind of life. Mm. Like they just want easy money. They just want to make easy money. Easy money. That if it's hurting you or not, that they don't care about it. But just as I said, some are very good. Some are very, very good. When the Nigerian says he's doing you good, my brother, forget. The first spread you will not even understand the kind of love that he has developed for you. Mm. I have experienced all those people. They are very good natured. But, he says he's treating you very bad. Mm. Um, can't stand it. Can't stand it at all. That is it. I beg, I just want to end it here. God bless all of you. Thank you for your supporting. And uh, I think you'll be waiting for you people because I don't know the day the young people are going to research to this video. And any day you're listening to him, please, if you cannot afford the, how they call it, the car, even if you want to see the, you can afford it, you can find another thing to do to survive. It's not compulsory that uh, he must be car. There's one, if you also have any other way to assist him, you can call him. If your brother is living in Nigeria before, you know nothing now. 
not in work, but they, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Not in work, please assist. Because I'm not supporting or I don't want him to go back to that country again. You want to stay in Ghana. Please, if you go to support and call him or number, even if you want to see something, call him, try to associate with him, try to know more about how he live. It's very important. Understand? Well, thank all of you now. God will bless you all of you for your supporting, your subscribing and everything. My name is Master Manager Nigerian News again. And your name? Okay, that is it. You just want to say bye bye for now and thank you for watching.